Good afternoon. Well, the Aussie share market, its winning run of five consecutive sessions has come to an end on Tuesday. The ASX 200 suffering, suffering its first decline since last Monday. The benchmark index today falling 48 points or 0.7 of 1%, still above 7,000 points at 7,018 and roughly now 2.5% away from the all-time highs that we saw in February of last year. So today, losses were rather broad-based. We actually had nearly every single sector in decline, some of the heavyweights, the likes of the financials, uh, healthcare, and also technology sectors were leading uh, the losses. Uh, only one sector really improving today, that was in the communications. Uh, we had a, a fair bit of company news coming through as well. Uh, so lots of activity uh, in terms of quarterly results. So we had uh, Rio Tinto releasing some uh, a production update and it saw uh, iron ore shipments firstly lifting out of the Pilbara productions though for the March quarter down about 2%. Uh, and that was certainly impacted by wet weather uh, in that particular region. Linus uh, even faring, faring even, even worse than Rio, down about 8% on its quarterly numbers today. Afterpay, the buy now, pay later provider, down about 0.8 of 1%. It uh, came out with some pretty strong sales growth, particularly in the US and the UK. US sales totaling around $2.6 billion. It's now its largest earner, and it could be also considering listing uh, in the United States. Now uh, we had Challenger, one of the worst on the ASX 200 today, the investment firm falling around 15% and its quarterly numbers, uh, it did come out and say that it's keeping its guidance range intact, but what it's, ha what's it, it, what it, it's expecting uh, is for profit to be at the bottom of that particular range that it has provided. So shareholders and investors generally not too keen on, on those particular numbers. There was a winner in terms of Temple and Webster, the online retailer for furniture, up about 1.5% on its quarterly numbers. Sales continues to be quite strong in the company fairly uh, optimistic that the shift to online furniture sales uh, will remain for some time. Uh, in other news, Coca-Cola today has received approval from the New South Wales Supreme Court for uh, its takeover by Coca-Cola in Europe and that will uh, likely happen on the 10th of May. Uh, if it receives ASIC approval tomorrow, it will be delisted at the close of tomorrow's trading session. The Aussie dollar at the moment buying around 78 US cents near the best levels in five weeks.